Good morning, YouTube. This is WackMed19, and this is my setup. Okay, so I recently made a change, and that's why I'm giving you just this little sneak peek of what it is and where it is that I gain. First of all, we're in a hallway. The air around here is really bad. That's why I have this fan, and I have another fan behind the green screen, and the airflow in the hallway is not all that, that jamming. So I really have to deal with some heat, especially when we're three and a half hours into three bar exploits. It gets really long, and got to have the airflow, man. Anyway, the important part of what it is that I've got going on is a recent change that I made. It's something that you may need to look into. It's a product or a different type of product, or maybe it's something different than what it is that you're using that may help your gaming and help your Call of Duty skills more specifically. Response time is like lag. Your response time, what you see and when you see it, how fast you see it, how fast the other person sees it, that's that's lag, right? That's the lag conversation that so many people have had. And, and I think you know this. I think you're pretty well versed in this. But one of the lags that you can have is between what your game knows, what, what your Xbox knows, and what it then tells you. When you receive that information, so when the monitor shows you that information, recent change that I made, it's improved my playing immensely. Really, really immensely. First of all, I want to show you something pretty cool. Watch this. On the screen right here, look at that. Do you see that? You see how my finger tracks? Uh, let's, let's minimize this and get a little darker background. See how my finger tracks? And look, it's still there. The streak. The streak is... I know that's really bad for the TV. I don't care. I paid like 50 bucks for it at the pawn shop. Not a big deal. So, this is the game, this is the, the entertainment center, so this is the monitor that I was playing on, and, and I'd, I'd kick back this way, and this was my computer monitor, this was my gaming TV, and, and I gamed on the TV. So there's something I want to show you, and I'll put a screen picture up that I'm going to take for you. This TV is a Sanyo. And it has six and a half milliseconds of response time. That means that whenever the television receives the signal from the Xbox, it's six and a half milliseconds before it, it puts it on the screen and shows me. That's a really long time in Call of Duty. Maybe not in something else, but it's a really long time. And even though I got it in 1080, and on this screen's 26 inch TV, it's nice and, and, and just about right for me to kick back and relax. Six and a half milliseconds is a little bit slower than I wanted to put up with. And that's pretty fast for a TV. Uh, some TVs can go up to 10 milliseconds, 15 milliseconds, and what it's doing is it's making that picture all nice and pretty for your eyes. I don't care so much about pretty whenever the differences are so minute. We're in 1080, remember? Or actually, that's 720. Uh, but it, it's still not enough difference for that extra time. Now, the specs on Newegg for this, for the Samsung, it's not the top of the line, it's not the highest end monitor, but it is really nice, it tilts, it's got this nice little neck on it, it's all touch screen, the, and it's also timed out. The picture on it is perfect, but the response time is two milliseconds. Two milliseconds is insanely fast. That's, it, and granted, that's the 30%, or just, just under 30% of what the television is, but that means that my vision has increased by 60% over what it was. And again, we're talking about really, really tiny, tiny numbers. But that 60% has helped me, I don't know, maybe it's confidence. That can be it. Confidence is a huge factor. Uh, the screen clarity and resolution, this one doesn't streak, and I refuse to put my fit. Well, you know what, for you guys I will. The streak is, is over and gone because the resolution's like that. This TV is older, so it's got a little more of the blur to it. The So the screen clarity, too. The time that it takes for me to see that is being is, is now 60% faster, just over 60% faster, all the, somewhat closer to 70. And that has helped me. Uh, BenQ is a sponsored thing. If uh, A lot of gamers like BenQ monitors. 
Uh, there are other monitors. You can research the response time is something that's in the specs. Whenever you look at the specifications of, of any monitor or television, you can find those listed there. Not a big deal to find that. It, it, it's printed out with the, with the sizing chart and all that tells you the dimensions and the, the width and the, the frame rates and all that. So the responsiveness for your gaming monitor is insanely important. I, I love the Samsung. I, I don't think I'll ever play on a television again. Not, not Call of Duty, not something competitively. I, I won't be playing on anything but a computer monitor. Now, computer monitors are better than televisions because televisions like to make everything pretty. They like to take the time and round out and fill in all the gaps and blanks and they put all the fine edges on things and they give you a little bit more saturated look. I don't care about saturation. I don't want to see the guys pop out from behind the rock as fast as I can so that I can get on them. And a computer monitor is going to give you that. Also, computer monitors are, are just better. They're better for gaming. They're built, a lot of them are built specifically for gaming because that's what uh, not a majority, but a lot of people do with monitors when they get them. So, take a look at monitors if you're into trying to improve your game. Uh, it's not a miracle, but it's a confidence booster. It can give you more clarity than what you had, and it can give it to you faster. And those three, three, three things combined have really helped me out. In, in just a short time, uh, I, I, I tweeted with, with Oyster the other day, dropping swarms. And he's like, get on my level. Yeah, so what? Whatever. I'm getting swarms. I, I, I never got swarms before. I got my first one the other night that I earned. And I understand that's not a big deal. But if you're the guy that gets swarms, what if this takes you to getting ruthless medals on every uh, one, one time a night? What if it takes you to getting ruthless medals every third game? Uh, small tips, small things can make your gaming experience better. And you may, may not have even known them. So check out different monitors if you've got 150 bucks to spend, 200 bucks to spend, and are trying to find a way to upgrade your experience. Sure, there's other things that you can buy. You can buy controllers, and you can buy uh, better internet, whatever else it is that is that'll also help you in gaming. That's those, those things are true. Monitors are one of those things. Don't discount that. I'm flabbergasted by the the help that it was to me. So definitely give that a check. If you like this video, if it was helpful anyway, if it was any information to you at all, hit the like button down below. And if you're not already subscribed to me, please subscribe. Tell me in the comments what it is that, that you play on. What do you game on? Is it TV? Is it, what kind of TV is it? What kind of monitor do you use? If it's, if it's a computer monitor, let me know what it is that you're using. I'll look them up. I'll new egg them and see what they are because I'll be looking for a new one here in the future. And and I may you may you may know one better than mine. So that's what I've got for you today. Thanks. Have a great day.